The fact that flamingos would be field sobriety test world champions is a weird sciencey fact that boggles my mind. Everybody loves the official bird of the trailer park, and for good reasons. They're hot pink, they look like something Dr. Seuss came up with, and they're just all around fun and goofy. And of course they have their signature stance where they hang out on one leg. But what's crazy is it's more than just a stance, that's actually how they sleep. Of course flamingos aren't the only animal to sleep standing up, horses do some of the time, but even horses have to lay down for REM sleep. Flamingos on the other hand do not. Do they have REM sleep? I don't know. That's not the point of this particular video. But even more odd than them sleeping standing up is why they do it on one leg like they're reciting the alphabet to a state trooper at two in the morning. And how they do it, because it doesn't seem very restful to sleep while standing on a pogo stick. And while the how and the why have both been a mystery for a long time, one of them has recently been solved. A and it involves dead flamingos, but don't worry, they didn't they didn't kill them for this. They They let them die naturally in the zoo and then played with their dead bodies. That sounded less bad when I started saying that sentence. It turns out flamingos have a very special locking joint in their legs that allows their legs to stay rigid without any muscle input whatsoever. And it's a system that works so well that even a deceased flamingo can stay standing when balanced just right. Which is how they figured this out, because scientists made zombie flamingos. So that's pretty impressive, but there are some yet to be answered questions that remain. Like, why one leg instead of two? And why standing up at all when every other animal just, you know, lays down. One theory for why one leg is that it helps conserve heat, you know, pulling your extremities closer to your body. And, and while there's some evidence to suggest that they do that slightly more when it's cooler, uh, there's been no consistency in recreating those observations. The other theory is that like dolphins, maybe only half their brain sleeps at a time. So the awake half is the half that they're standing on or vice versa. I, I don't really know, but that's, that's the best they got for why they hang out on one leg all the time. The other question is why they sleep standing at all. And once once again, not sure, but there are a couple slightly more concrete theories for this one. First is that, like horses, it could provide an evolutionary advantage where if you can just wake up and start running because you're already standing, uh, you survive getting eaten more often. However, plenty of other animals seem to survive just fine without sleeping in the upright and locked position, and flamingos have the advantage of flight, something that a lot of other animals don't have, which seems like it would be less necessary for them to evolve such a trait. The answer may actually be with the environment itself that they choose to live in. Flamingos choose to live in feed and water that's so alkaline rich it could practically be battery acid. It can cause severe irritation and burns to skin. Now, the flamingo's scaly legs have evolved to tolerate the Joker origin story pools they choose to exist in. But their feathers and their softer fleshy bodies, maybe less so. So they could either leave the toxic acid pools that they live in to catch some Zs, or they can just evolve to sleep standing up, which serves a couple purposes. First of which, you, you don't need to waste energy leaving the pool where all of your food is. And second off, living in a vat of battery acid is a pretty good predator deterrent. So while we're not entirely certain that that's the reason for the lean-in, seems like a pretty logical one to me. Yeah. The fact that flamingos can flourish thanks to their fantastic physiological feat of unfaltering firm footing, well, that is pretty mind-boggling.